Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Pase Baller here. We are now on the 6th and the last uh, prediction or game for this uh, January 1st, 2022 NBA game day. This is the showdown between Golden State Warriors having a record of 27-7 and visiting Utah Jazz with a record of 26-9. and This one will be played at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's, that's going to be 10 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. Taking a look at the Western Conference standings, man, these two are uh, heavyweights. Uh, Golden State Warriors, they are the number one team in the uh, uh, in the Western Conference and the entire NBA. Um, and for their last 10 games, uh, Golden State has won seven games. But approaching this game, they're actually coming off a loss. Now for Utah Jazz, uh, they are at number three. So not, you know, not that far behind Golden State. Um, they are at number three. For their last 10 games, they have won eight uh, of those last 10. And approaching this game, man, are they hot or not? Um, Utah Jazz is riding this six-game winning streak. All right, so Utah Jazz, uh, they will be enjoying their home court advantage. That's one. Um, fatigue factor, um, we got to give it to Golden State Warriors because um, Utah Jazz already played last night against uh, Minnesota Timberwolves while Golden State rested up. Um, for momentum, though, we got to give it to Utah Jazz with that six-game winning streak. So two points already for Utah, and Golden State would have one. Now let's take a look at the injury lists for both teams. For Golden State Warriors, uh, they got four players out. Uh, Clay Thompson, of course, uh, Damian Lee, Draymond Green, and James Wiseman. All out for Golden State Warriors. So that's a total of four players. For Utah Jazz... Um, hold on. All right, it says Azubuki is confirmed out. Um, and we got four players who are on day to day, or perhaps game time decision. We got Conley, Ingles, Pascal, and uh, Hassan Whiteside. So again, Azubuki is confirmed out. But those other four players that I mentioned. Um, they're not yet confirmed whether they, you know, w whether they would be playing or not because um, it's still game time decision. So uh, we gotta wait until you know, uh, what's the, what's the time again? Around nine o'clock. Okay, so what do we have here? Um, the spread, by the way, is minus four point five, and that is for Utah Jazz. Now this is this is supposed to be a heavyweight battle because again, Golden State Warriors they're the number one team in the West. And Utah Jazz, they're the number three. Um, minus 4.5 is given to Utah Jazz. Um, Health-wise, it, it looks like Utah is actually um, the healthier team. Although there, there's a possibility that you know they would have uh, five players out for them. Again, depending on those uh, players who are on game time decision. Uh, 4.5, uh, what do I say here? What do I say here? Um, Golden State Warriors would really, you know, would really have a hard time without having uh, Draymond Green. You know, Draymond Green is uh, the anchor of their defense. Um, although there are additional players for Golden State Warriors who are helping them out a lot in, in rebounding and defense, the leadership that, you know, Green offers is just totally different, man. Now, for, uh, for Utah Jazz, we all know who's going to lead the defense there. And, of course, that's Rudy Gobert. Um... But I, I don't know about y'all, but I, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, go, um, Stephen Curry, along with his boys, um, in situations like this, you know, when going up against uh, a heavyweight, um, they just play totally different. I, I mean, totally different, man. It's like uh, they're, they're, you know, they're stepping on the gas um, real hard. Um, so I'm not saying Utah Jazz would actually, uh, I mean, Utah Jazz would lose this game, but um, the 4.5 spread, I think, is just too big for uh, the number one team in the NBA right now, Golden State Warriors. I'm pretty sure that uh, Stephen Curry would have a thing or two uh, before, you know, before giving up on this. Um, and at the same time, I'm thinking, yes, uh, some of the players of Utah Jazz are actually playing or are actually available, but um, they ain't 100%. Donovan Mitchell is one of them. Donovan Mitchell is, uh, for me, their best player. Uh, but he ain't a hundred percent, right? Uh, his backs, I mean, he's he's having his back problems, and he actually played uh, yesterday or last night against Minnesota Timberwolves. So I'm not really sure um, how good he would be on this game. 
Um, I'm gonna say I can't, you know, I can't go against Golden State Warriors with that kind of, uh, with that huge, of a, you know, of a spread. So I'm sticking with Golden State Warriors with a plus 4.5 in here. I'm pretty sure Stephen Curry, you know, would launch some of his bombs on this game. Golden State plus 4.5. Peace out. Passe love. God bless.